Hello everyone, I'll come agree here. Welcome to Destroy Humans Big Willy Unleashed. Now, this is not the game per se. This is more just the um the, the cutscenes as this game came out on a different console I don't have access to. So, I do apologize, but this is the best I can do to still show you the story. So, please enjoy. So, you're the one on Manchu devil who killed my father. Prepare to be destroyed. Hey, they stole my move. More educational programming, Crypto? Yeah, this one's about anatomy. I wanted a show on human mating, but it's only the 70s, and these Earth monkeys haven't invented cable yet. There's only three TV channels. Then how about the news? We're missing Bill Kincaid, the most trustable man in America. What? Give me that clicker. With the president's resignation and the military bogged down in Vietnam, it's still uncertain if this new disco music will lift the spirits of America's youth. Kill me now. In business news, fast food restaurant chain Big Willie's will open its 500th franchise this week, continuing 10 years of unprecedented expansion. Yes, fools. 500 strong and growing. Ho, 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 ho. I chortle. And to recap the top story, there's still no word from the militants who kidnapped model and billionaire heiress Patty Worst. Nah, now the picture's out. Give me that thing. Wait a minute. This could be a good show. I only have a few seconds to speak before the FCC cuts off this pirate television signal. Listen, America, to the revolutionary dialectical truth of the common turn. Big words. What is this? PBS? It's that missing heiress. She's obviously been brainwashed by her Marxist kidnappers. The Big Willie Corporation chews us up, grinding our flesh. Big Willie is feeding us to ourselves. A shipment arriving at the Harbor City contains the truth. At Colonel Cluckin's Kitchen, you're gonna love my down south chicken. It's lip smacking, delicious, y'all. I guarantee. Ever since our last video game adventure, I've kept myself busy by dabbling in human business affairs. What's that got to do with what, Sir Jiggle? Crypto, what do you think happens to the corpses of all the humans of whom you suck out the brain stems? I always figured they just faded away when I went around the corner. Hardly. They have to be disposed of. It's a big job, especially for one who's corporally challenged like myself. But one night it came to me. Fast food. I have meat, they need meat. So I went into business. I sell the corpses to a fast food chain which I own. Big Willies. Big Willies? That stuff is gag. Highly profitable gag. This patty worst must be stopped before she exposes us. Gotta hand it to you, Pox. Corpses, cannibalism, mass slaughter, half-naked rich chicks with guns. You really know how to start these things off with a bang. Yes, Crypto. It's time once more for you to go forth and destroy all humans! Ah, the docks. What are we doing here, Pox? See that truck? It's loaded with delicious ground human musculature and bone meal. A delectable delivery of fast food meat, which, if uncovered by Patty Worst, will utterly expose our mission here on Earth. Ensure the truck's safe delivery to the Big Willy, which I've marked on your map. Great. Let's go. These cursed human customs agents are everywhere. They want to pour through my meat. But you're going to stop them. This is starting to sound creepy. Your quips aren't funny. The truck is taking damage! Quickly! Neutralize those humans before my cargo is destroyed! The gate is locked. One of those guards should be able to open it. Make him! Success! Our cannibalistic scheme is safe. That's me and the USDA-1. Foolish humans, zero. You're working with the USDA? Of course! There's a Republican in the White House, after all. They only care that I use American-grown meat. 
No, oh, brother. I'm worried about this Patty Worst. I thought she was just a rebellious rich brat, desperate for her wealthy father's attentions. And now? I think she's all of that and a royal pain in my holo projector. She nearly exposed our use of human-based meats. And look what that did to the sales of Soylent Green. Hardly anyone eats that any longer. Anyway, your secret's safe, and I'm going back to my jiggle shows. Wait! I have a warehouse full of human meat product. If this bimbo stumbled onto my meat shipments... Then she knows about the warehouse. And the crates of body parts. Crypto, get those crates to safety before she informs the police. Why is it I'm always the one cleaning up your mess? You made those corpses. I'm only grinding them up into hot dogs. Who's the real bad guy here? Ah, uh, right. The point taken. You do remember how to fly your saucer, don't you? Are you kidding? I'm the hottest furon to ever hover one of these babies. Oh, big hero. Now move those crates! You can store them on the roof of my restaurant. Not only won't they be seen, but the blistering sun will help the contents ripen for extra deliciousness. I've marked the first one on the map. For obvious reasons, it won't do to be seen transporting the crates. So be sure to engage your saucer's cloak when you do. Hey, the pigs are here, man. Yes, too bad my hot dogs are all beef of a sort. They must not be allowed in the warehouse. Keep them away at all costs. To others. It ain't working, Pox. There's fuzz everywhere. You're right. Burn the warehouse to the ground to eliminate the evidence. And so it looks like Patty's gang did this. Crypto, I think something strange is happening at my Big Willy. Maybe it's spring. Just get over there. Curses! This whole situation is spiraling out of control! A press conference is forming outside my Big Willy restaurant, called no doubt by our Miss Worst, opulent harlot. We need to make this go away. No problem. I'll go cack the reporters and be back in time for the Mod Squad. No, Crypto. The risk is too great. My Big Willy is attracting enough attention already. You will need to go native for this mission. Oh boy. Earth women, lock your doors. Not like that, you degenerate. I mean body snatching. Which, performed correctly, can be almost as pervy and fun. Uh, it's like having a permanent teenager. When will Miss Worst be here? Soon. Isn't she wanted by the police? That is being taken care of. So Worst will be here. This could be an opportunity for us. We must learn what sort of arrangement she is making with the police. I say Hutch could kick Starsky's ass any day. Yeah, but Paul Michael Glazer would bury David's soul. Ain't life strange. Hey, you pigs! That's Officer Pig to you, punk. I got a message from Patty Worst. What, no envelope? That's just rude. Miss Worst expects you to keep your distance from now on. We will. You just keep the money coming. And next time, put it in a bag or something. And bring me a sandwich. Make that a Big Willie. What? Are you kidding? Big Willie is people, Officer Pig. <laughs> I made the payoff. You're safe now. Wait a minute for the cops to spread the word. Then you can leave the pier. Your body snatch victim is about a double! A double patty! I thought you were a hot dog man, Pox. This is no time for miserable, unfunny puns. We've been tricked! Quickly, to the restaurant! The real patty must be holding the press conference, even as we speak! I've come out of hiding because some of you seem to have been confused by my recent broadcast. To make my position clear, I've brought a sample Big Willie for each of you. What about those pictures published in the tabloids? Are you dating anyone, Miss Worst? No! Look, if you'll each have your Big Willie tested, should we be taking antibiotics, Miss Worst? I'm talking about the hot dogs. Now, pay attention. Crypto, we cannot allow this to go on any longer. Destroy them all now, no matter what the cost. Wahoo! Well, crud. Never mind. Kill the reporters before they can write their stories. Well, I got them all. Yes. Except for Patty Worst. Given her poor oratory skills, I can't believe she's the ringleader. We need to find out who's behind her. Pox, her daddy's got a gajillion dollars in the bank. 
People like that don't need anyone behind them. They need hot and cold running cocktails and someone to clean up the corpses, like I do. No pamper trust fund debutante has the intellectual acuity to design her own line of purses, let alone lead a socio-economic revolution. No. Someone's helping her. And you are going to find out who. Oh, goody. Crypto, we must discover who's supporting Patty Worst. Now that she's bought the police with her unearned trust fund lucre, she's able to travel in public. My sensors have located the free spending harpy. Free spending? Unearned trust fund, blah, blah. I get it. You dated a rich girl, didn't you? You little gold digger. Step out of the car with your hands up. What do you want, Hig? Oh, Ms. Worst. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, miss. Uh, your driver just ran down an officer of the law. Uh, we'll have to arrest him. Lay one big finger on my driver, and your mother will be dragged naked through the street, and all her money will be distributed among the poor. My mother loves all your pamphlets. Man, this girl's smoking. These cops are obviously on the take. Quickly, she's moving! Report. The pigs belong to me. I've got half the town coming. I'll have him eating out of my hand. That I have no doubt, child. And the so-called restaurant? <laughs> it's barely fortified. It'll be easy to take out with my tank. <laughs> That's lip-smacking good news. And may I say, you are one fine leftist revolutionary. Ha! That'll teach Daddy to ground me. Doing it to get back at Daddy. Oh, treachery. It's always the same. Did you recognize that guy in the tube? Colonel Clucken. I should have known. When I open my 500th store in Fairfield, my big willy will dwarf his kitchen. He cannot allow that. It's a fast food thing. You wouldn't understand. Uh-huh. So we gonna bust up this rally or what? Of course. I'll never let this debutante use my big willy to get back at her father. Pox, you have no idea what you're saying, but I admire your principles. Hey, man, you here? Big Willie is people. What, like metaphorically? We don't know. Are you with us? Or what? Yeah. Big Willie is people. Big Willie is people. It's already begun. The more people Patty's gang bring to the rally, the greater the interest by the media. But I'm concerned my Big Willie cannot bear their scrutiny. Maybe you should just try leaving the lights off. Uh, I don't follow. Forget it. What do you say I shoot these yahoos? Absolutely. Brothers and sisters, today we throw off the shackles of the white male corporate Madison Avenue fast food complex. Big Willie, the smiling, rosy-cheeked kid who feeds your children, is not your friend. What the? My weapons are fritzing out. What's going on? Clever. My readings indicate those speakers are acting as a crude electromagnetic pulse emitter, jamming your weapons. Where the hell would they get that kind of technology? It must be Cluckens doing. We'll need to use brute force to stop her, and quickly. How? My firepower's out of commission, and my PK ain't up to the job. All that leaves me with is my good looks. Not necessarily. I've been saving something special for you. Quickly, to my Big Willie restaurant! I am trying to tell you that when you eat a Big Willie weenie, what you're really eating is a Big... Hey, what is that thing? It's Big Willie! Maybe it has balloons. Look, brothers and sisters, upon the face of your own decadence, America is a spoiled child. That's right. Now who wants to see me throw a tantrum? I'm just here for the beer! Excellent work, Crypto. Now, where is the she-devil? Damn that icy worst girl and her inherited millions. Damn, damn, damn! She's escaped! Crypto? Crypto! So let's say I'm getting down with Linda and she says... Linda? Who's Linda? I gave your rich girl on Furon a made-up name, Linda Carter. The name helps me visualize. So Linda says, Stud Muffin, cause she knows that gets me hot. Stud Muffin, I have this fantasy that's so dirty. Her name was E. Coli! Lovely E. Coli. 
as beautiful as she was frigid. It was torture back when I had a body. But now, with the physical urges behind me, I feel her charms anew. She used you. I was just a humble palace intern. She promised me the moons, but she dumped me when her unimaginably wealthy daddy bribed her with a brand new personal transportation device, which was her motive all along. It figures. Women. She was an evil genius. Oh, the schemes we could have concocted together. When I imagine E. coli in fast food. Curse this worst girl for filling my head with such ideas. Fox, you're romantic. Well, buck up, pal. I saw her heading for the docks. I'm gonna go scrag a rich girl for you right now, and you can pretend she's E. coli. <sighs> I only want to cover the world with my big willy. Is that so wrong? Pretty much. Okay, let's go put her back in the box. No! I only wanted to get back to Daddy! I should have just stayed in the gardener. Or me! That would have really pissed him off. Oh, sweet revenge! Sit on it, rich girl! Consider it my gift to you. Now let's go home. Policewoman's on TV tonight, and I've got a date with her bodacious tatas. Not so fast, Crypto. We're at war now. Colonel Clucken won't stop in Harbor City. He's been watching the growth of my Big Willy, and no doubt he's noticed my 500th erection. He won't pass up the opportunity to disrupt my opening on national TV. To Fairfield, nothing must stop the rise of my Big Willy. I have got to write this stuff down. Listen. Before we go on, I gotta lay down some ground rules. I don't wanna hear any more gab about the size of your big willy, or the smell of your big willy, and the rest of that jazz. Get me? I had enough of your ding-dong in Harbor City to last a lifetime. How else am I supposed to refer to it? Big Willy is its name. I don't know, just say my restaurant or something. You'll figure it out. Fine, I'll lay off my big willy. But it will be hard. Okay, starting now. Say, what is this place? Some kind of nuclear dump? This is Fairfield, the site of my 500th... Uh, location. Here? In Hayseed Central? Why bother? This is America's heartland. Love of country and good, hard-working, honest people who... Wait, what's that? A gang of roller disco girls burgled my restaurant. Land this saucer and meet me on the ground. As I said previously, a gang of roller disco girls burgled my restaurant, and they've taken the secret formula for my special sauce. Without it, my big willies are limp and unappealing. Watch that pervo talk. You're backsliding. Just get that briefcase away from those roller girls. One briefcase, coming up. Booby-trapped. Just what I should have expected from a bunch of half-naked teenagers. At least your recipe survived. Breaker, breaker. You're coming up mud duck down here, good buddy. Looks like my weapons and jetpack are kablooey, too. Return to the saucer where I'll repair your equipment. Hey! Space oddity! Huh? Hey, good looking. I come in peace, if you get what I mean. Oh, you're as pervy as he said you would be, you dirty old man. Old? I'm not old. I'm in my prime. Agile, hostile, and most of all, virile. Ew, you're all wrinkly. You may have gotten your formula back, but we own this town. Big Willie is finished in Fairfield, and so are you. <laughs> Oh! I'm blinded! Oh boy. It's gonna be a slow slog back to the saucer. The world craves my special sauce, Crypto. Thanks to your efforts, I can spread it all across the globe. I'm so tired, I'm gonna let that one slide. What? What did I say? 
Crypto, I've identified the leader of these roller girls. One Mindy Peters. I met her. Va va voom. I tell you, Pox, it's depressing to have to vaporize so much luscious, jiggly female flesh. The time has come to teach these humans what happens when they mess with a 74th level Furon Warlord. I thought the level cap was 60. Silence! Eliminate the ones supplying speed boost chemicals to these roller girls, the construction crew who built their hideout, and the five and dime where they buy their skate keys. Then and only then do we eliminate their hideout using my big willy. Go! For the Furon Empire and for my restaurant chain, which I am not going to name again. Now you're talking. So I said, forget school. That's when I joined up with the Colonel. Really? Was it so you could learn our kung fu fighting? Yeah, you cats were fast as lightning. It's not as sexy, but I'd rather use a tire iron over brass knuckles. Less likely to break a nail that way. I know what you mean, but Johnny just gave me a diamond-studded brass knuckles. The diamonds are in the shape of a heart. <sighs> hey, girlfriends. So tell me, where can I get some of that great boost chemical? I'm feeling a bit slow. Oh, that's easy. You can find it over at the farm depot at the edge of town. Now ask me a harder question. And the construction crew who made your, I mean, our hideout. They're nearby, but you should know this by now. Why do you ask? Oh, it's just these new menthols. <coughs> they did a number on my memory. Well, head on down to the Farm Depot. Can't have you slowing down before we take on that slimy Purbo again. Slimy? Huh? Oh, or, uh, nothing. I'll groove you later. Now we burn them! Revenge is a dish best served in under four minutes so you get it free! Scattered, smothered, and covered. Go now and destroy the hideout! Use the mighty Big Willy! Destroy any roller girl resistance you encounter! I hear and gleefully obey. The wrinkly Purbo destroyed our hideout, man! What do we do now, Colonel? This calls for a little payback. Now listen here. I'm gonna send you some help, and then we're gonna teach that bug-eyed alien what's what around these parts. Okay, darling? You're right, Colonel. The sun will come out tomorrow! Bet your bottom dollar! <laughs> That's enough. Ain't nobody wanting to get sued here now. Colonel L. Yes, sir, Colonel. I'll get ready. What's shaking, Pox? Me! I'm quivering with excitement over the explosive premiere of my Big Willy! Huh. <sighs> you just can't hear it, right? It's like me with dog whistles. Hear what? I didn't... Right day in the morning! Look out! They've got bombs! To each. Hubba hubba. Bombs! I said bombs, Crypto! Don't let them near the restaurant! Crypto, you've saved my, uh, eating establishment! But if we're ever going to be free of this roller girl gang, we must silence their leader. Yeah, but I can't find her. I burned half this town to the ground and never found a trace of her. These disco harlots will go wherever people with loose morals gather to consume intoxicants and listen to bad electronic music. Go and see if you can find such a gathering. You want me to find a party? I think this is the best job you've ever given me. See you in a couple of months, Poxy! So, as I predicted, the roller girls are having a little fete. Now is the time to strike at their leader, Mindy Peters. Good. I've been wanting to nail her for a long time. And after that, I'll kill her for you. Crypto, she knows we're looking for her. She won't come out of hiding for a simple kegger. Perhaps if we appeal to her feminine side, we can make use of the Corn Cob King. Hot dog, a new weapon. I always did think the anal probe was a little underpowered. Not a weapon, imbecile. A human male. Called the Corn Cob King? You know, I can think of three ways to get a nickname like that, and only one of them worth bragging about. He's a local celebrity has been. Elected Corn Cob King of his high school class. Turned college football star, turned pathetic drunken gadabout. Still, the girls here love him. He and Mindy have been an item for years. The Corn Cob King can draw her out of hiding. 
can't believe that skank Mindy's not here. She better watch it or someone might bogart her stud muffin. Man, did you see the corn cob king tonight? Woo! Looking foxy! I'd like to butter him up, and I know you know what I'm talking about. Hey, anyone see Jeannie? Last I saw, she was heading out back the building with the corn cob king. Mindy's hunk? Ooh, that girl's just asking for trouble. Uh-huh. Hey, baby, let's go back to my pad. I'll let you touch my trophies. Ah, here's our corn-fed Casanova now. We'll need him to draw out Mindy Peters. The coast is totally clear, hot stuff. The corn cob king wants to plant some seeds. <laughs> what do you say? Good enough. Now hold still. <laughs> I really missed you, babe. Me too. Oh. Hot stuff. Oh, cooties! Yeah, cooties! <laughs> Hot stuff. This practically writes itself. <laughs> so now what? Take off for Cluckin's hideout? Not yet. The media are coming to town for my 500th opening, and I don't want word of giant robots and mutant metalheads in the headlines. Best to wipe the slate clean. You mean I get to play Freak Tornado Storm? I love that game. Yes, destroy the town, except for my restaurant, and we'll blame it on a freak power plant accident. Well, that was fun. It's always nice to wreak a little havoc with the old saucer. You know, she rusts up if you don't take her out every once in a while. Rusts up? What a charming earthism. Now, onward to kick clack and tail. We have a little police action to perform. I've programmed the navigational computer for a special tactic. What? A flying saucer serving up pain and destruction doesn't strike enough fear into the average human? Normally, yes. But we need to try something a little more... covert. Whoa! And me without my drama mean. <laughs> Crypto, we finally arrived! To action! Not that I'm complaining, but why didn't we take the Saucer Express? We could have gotten here last week. Tactics, Crypto. It's the classic Antaran horse strategy. I get it. We're just another ship full of horny monkeys waiting to get off. Yes, Clucken will never see us coming. He has no clue that Big Willy Enterprises owns this ship, and no clue it's carrying two elite Furon warriors. Two? Did you clone me again when I wasn't looking? Oh, if I had my body, you'd need another clone. Now silence! I've traced Clucken's transmission to one of the islands in this atoll. According to the pamphlet, a human named Mr. Pork runs this whole thing. He'll know where Clucken is. Maybe we ought to pay a visit to this Mr. Pork. Well, for Arkboodle's sake, body snatch someone so you don't scare off the Earth monkeys. Remember, this is a covert operation. Crypto, the crewmen will know the whereabouts of this Mr. Pork. We don't want Clacken to know we're here, so use your body snatch. Come on, Pox. How about a little fun in the sun? These babes are wearing dental floss, and I'm way behind on my oral hygiene, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, I gotta find Mr. Pork. Where's the visitor center? I can never find that place. When I want to see Pork, I just ask the natives where to go. Good idea. Listen, Friday, I'm looking for Pork. Which way did he go? Uh, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Pork? Oh, he's just over. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I, I mean, uh, Big Boss, that way. You find him good. That's a good boy. And about the skirt, try AstroTurf. Synthetics have come a long way. I'm looking for the boss of this island. Actually, it's an atoll. That's not a real word. Just point me to him, Friday. How do you know? He's not me. Well, I don't want to cast aspersions on your fine indigenous people, but I'm just not getting the boss vibe off ya. It's the grass skirt, isn't it? That was a clue, but the bone through the nose was the clincher. Damn. They make me wear this. The visitor centers that way. Look! 
Men of the 1700s. Perhaps their directions will be more useful than those of the Stone Age natives. Listen up. I'm hunting pork, and I'm not getting anywhere with the locals. Now, which one of you Blackbeards knows the way to the visitor center? If it's directions that ye be wanting to have some of, then I, we be's the ones that he wants to be having the talking with. Arr. He obviously has some sort of mental defect. What the hell are you saying, Stinky? Hey. I'm not screwing up your alien bit, so don't screw up my pirate bit. We're not telling you squat unless you do something for us. And what's that? You're out of soap, right? No. See, we haven't had a chance to use these cool pirate weapons Mr. Pork gave us. So how's about we chase you to the bridge? And if in you survive, we give you directions. How about I just beat it out of you? Attack! All right, already. Knock it off. Okay, the deal's a deal. Visitor center is right over. Oh boy. I don't know why, but they're singing your song, Pox. Ho, ho, ho. Greetings. I am your host, Mr. Park. This is my enormous manservant, Ratpool. Welcome to Fantasy Atoll. I thought Fantasy Atoll was a myth. What say you tell me where Cluckin' is before I shove this anal probe where the tiki lamp don't shine? My friend, guests come to my atoll for fantasy to be swashbuckling pirates, heroic soldiers, castaways, and even indigenous natives. And what of you, my holographic friend? Hey, wait a minute. Do you not have a fantasy? Is there something you lost? Pox! What about clucking? Your restaurants, our mission. Yes, yes, I want my body back. Lithe, muscular, with flatulence and sour breath and rickets. I want to feel again. Rapu, take our guest to his quarters. Yes, boss. I don't know what you've done to Pox, but I'm gonna tear you a new one. Crypto, no! The business can wait a few days. There are more important things. What's more important than kill and clocking? Ever since we talked about E. coli, I've been longing for my body. Jeez, Pox. Are you sure you want to do this? Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Barbecued pork. Mr. Crypto, my medallion protects me from your weapons. Even your PK ability cannot touch me. What kind of game are you running here? You can't give Pox a body. I promise I'll do nothing to harm your friend. He's not my friend. But he did co-sign all my credit cards, so you win, Pork, for now. Excellent. With your marvelous technology and my smooth Latino charm, there is no end to the fantasies we can fulfill. Welcome to the fantasy business, my alien friend. Building castles, reenacting famous battles, extreme plastic surgery. These are complicated and time-consuming pursuits. Blah, blah, blah. Look, Junior, I do what you say until you slip up. Then I kick your ass, take Pox and Boogie, okay? So let's just get the show on the road. Very well. Tell me, Mr. Crypto, are you a fan of foreign films? Hell yeah! I got some 16 millimeter reels from Germany that'd break your freaking brain! I run a family at all. I speak of Japanese cinema, giant monster movies. Many of my clients have fantasies along these lines, so I seek to build a robotic skeleton. A small one at first as a test. I need several things to make it. Beginning with lava rocks to provide the raw power. Three of them, if you please. Bring them here. Fetch quests. I hate this crap. There. That will do very well indeed. Only one more delivery, Mr. Crypto. Take the robot to the Romance Aligner. That is where we will complete my test. Listen, short stuff. I'm getting tired of ferrying crap around for you. I want to see Pops. And so you shall. After you have performed this final delivery. Yeah, but all Twilight Zone snap ending, right? I can tell from that shrimp-eating grin of yours. Good work, Crypto. The robot should be quite safe here during the test. Now, as I promised, you will soon see your friend, 
Meet me on the Romance Haliner, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Where's my fantasy? Where's Barbie Benton? That's your robot. The scheme can be whatever we like. Giant lizard one week, giant ape the next. But I was at a loss to complete the project until I saw your holographic friend. Pox? He's just a hologram with his consciousness stored in a... projector. A fortuitous stroke. Everything has come together. My robot, the professor, his brain transfer device, and the brain. Crypto! I was a fool! Building it was easy, but operating it, well, why write artificial intelligence from scratch when you can have the real thing? Brain transfer commencing. So you see, I am a man of my word. But you were right about the snap ending. Kraken's men! They found us! Us? Parks, get out of there! I can't! The transfer must finish or my brains will be permanently scrambled! Protect me and the Professor, Crypto! Crypto! Gunboats have breached the interior of the Atoll! They're shelling nearby and the Professor has fled! I need him to mine the controls or I could end up dead! Or with a personality like yours! Get in the saucer and destroy those boats so the Professor can return! I got you, Cluckin. It's times like these I wish I had a middle finger. Crypto, I've done it! I've reversed the transfer! But Pork's robot, it's... Pox, no! Find me! Find me, Crypto! Pox! Crypto, this is a recorded message. I've taken too much damage in the attack, and I'm going to eject. When you find me, I'll need a firmware update. Use the antenna array on the island, and contact customer support for instructions. Help me, Stoopy 137 Cryptoby. You're my only hope. Come on, Pox. Cryptoby? Man, that's a stretch. But how am I supposed to find this antenna array? You're my only hope. Is that where the antenna array is, Pox? Only hope. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Okay, I'll find your antenna array. Stick close. Pork's boys are probably out looking for us. Attaboy, Pox. Now phone home, you little ETU. Only hope. Find the alien. Keep looking. Come on, come on. Hello. Hello, this is Cryptosporidium 13. You have reached the helpline for Bureautech Industries. We at Bureautech Industries value your call and are eager to help you. Please press Plarks to speak to the next available service technician. This way! In the clearing! You're my only hope! Oh, crud. Oh, Crypto! I'm so glad to be a hologram again. That robo-skeleton was ungainly and ridiculous. Thank you for restoring me to being a suffering consciousness, imprisoned in this hovering capsule, longing to breathe with real lungs. So what's next? This mess is all my fault. Or rather, this sub-mess of the other mess. We'll get back to taking care of business with Cluckin. I promise. But first, we have some unfinished business. Like Cack and the Jerk shooting at us? Exactly. I have a new fantasy, Crypto. It's an Earth delicacy. Roast Mr. Pork with Rat Poo on the side. Funny. I was thinking the same thing. Glad you're back among the not quite really living, Pox. What now? Mr. Pork has taken terrible advantage of my desire to be reborn. And I let him. When I should have been attending to my business and killing Colonel Clucken. No arguments here. Don't rub it in. I can't. You're just a holographic projection. Ho oh, ho oh, very amusing. But if I cannot have my fantasy, then no one shall. Smash his seaplane so there can be no escape. Then destroy his headquarters, Crypto. Make him rue the day that he ever crossed me. Now that sounds like fun.
The volcano's power is being controlled by Mr. Pork's medallion, the same medallion that prevents your advanced Furon technology from hurting him. Okay, smart guy. So how do we destroy the medallion? The medallion was forged in the fires of the volcano, and the volcano is the only place that it can be destroyed. This plot device sounds strangely familiar. Let me guess, we need to form a fellowship of the medallion. No, you fool. Use Rat Poo to get to Mr. Pork. He is the only one who Mr. Pork trusts. Crypto, your negotiating skills are improving. We're done with this pathetic human. Rat Poo, just in time. If you will be so kind as to escort Mr. Crypto off my... Rat Poo, down boy, down! Get off of me, you big ogre! Uh, ah! Rat Poo! No! So long, Mr. Pork. Burning you to a cinder will provide me with fantasies for a long, long time. Hmm. You know, somehow I feel strangely empty. What? After all that? Ah, that's better. To the saucer! I'm gonna miss this place. The babes in bikinis, drinks with little umbrellas, natives duped into worshipping me. Let's blow this popsicle stand and get back to deep frying some clucking. Yes, this forsaken island has diverted us for long enough. For being so small, that pork certainly was a huge pain in the ass. Yes, yes a huge pain in the ass, my alien friend. Pork, you're alive! And talk about worse for wear. You have destroyed my life's work, and you will pay. I'm going to hurt you, as you hurt me. Behold the earth-shattering power of my mighty hate boat. <laughs> Crypto, I'm reading anti-saucer weapons on this hate boat. We're going to have to fight our way out of here. Kill, destroy, fight, that's my fantasy. Throw in some broads and it'll be just like the 4th of July. So much for the hate boat. What now? Now we have to get back to what's important in life. Expanding my big willy and sticking it to Colonel Kraken. Yeesh. No better way of wording that, huh? Pork did say he was in Viet Mall. Let's roll. Viet Mall. Crap. I guess I should have put a couple of more hours into geopolitics when I was president. Clearly. This entire area is a war zone and both sides are likely to shoot at us. The soldiers are all paranoid and the Khmer Beige rebels hate everyone with an IQ above 10. So how can we find Clarkin? I'll call the proprietor of the local Big Willie franchise and set up a rendezvous. Goes by the name of Tron. Ooh, one of your pawns who sells ground up people to his neighbors? I can't wait for this. Are you Tron? Yes. Hallelujah. I was burning up in there. I can't believe this heat. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. Gosh, thanks for the tip. Now tell me where I can find Cluckin. Ha! <laughs> I spit on him and his fiendish cluck in kitchens. His unfair competition has sucked off my customer. My big willy has shriveled. You work for Pox, all right. Kraken's deal with the Khmer Beige army is to clear out the battlefield dead. An endless source of cheap, prime human meat. Copycat. I can't compete with those prices. Kraken's base is nearby the ancient temple. It's protected from your saucer. Sneak inside and shut down his defensive mechanism. But first, a resupply convoy is on their way to the base. If they get inside, you'll never sneak in undetected. Okay, kill the supply convoys. Got it. Congratulations! You destroyed just enough of the trucks to make entering the base easier. Report back to the saucer. What's shaking, Poxy? Colonel Cluckin, no doubt, after you destroyed his resupply convoy. What say I grab Big Willy or the saucer and wrap this up? No. Cluckin's base is protected by an EMP shield and proton beam emitters. You wouldn't make it within ten feet. Luckily, I have a solution. You must sneak into the base and destroy his electrical generator. Sounds easy enough. Hardly. The EMP shield will neutralize your weapons as well. You'll have to hypnotize someone into destroying the generator for you. Sounds peachy. Then what? Then you can discard subtlety and destroy the shield device in your usual violent fashion. And by violent, you mean stylish. 
See you in a couple of minutes. Pox, the shields are down. Pox, Pox, must be getting some kind of interference from all this exploding human junk. Well, some amazing escapes are better described in person anyway. Military respawn. All right, Pox, I got the shields down. Time to blow this. Ugh, what hit me? I haven't felt like this since that party at the White House. Wake up, Mr. Arian. Where's Pox? What's with the cage? Ha! You buku stupid, Arian. That convoy going to kill Colonel, not surprise him. Tron trick you. You're dead meat, Tron. You're hot dogs. And same for Cluckin. Only he's more hot dogs because he's big around the middle. Tears, tears. Such hostility. Cluckin. Big Willie's profits are huge. I had to know how. So I sneaked into your warehouse and saw humans being ground up into wieners. Yeah, it was freaking brilliant. But it was too small. Only 500 restaurants when you could have thousands. Well, I'm only one Furon. And the women are pretty loose the last 15 years or so. I like my time off. Know what I'm saying? Why do all the killing when you can just find a war and cart off the dead? Work with me, boy. We can make billions. And what about the brain stems? That's my profit margin. You'd grind people up into chicken fingers with the cortexes? You're insane, Cluckin. Have it your way, boy. I've got every country in Southeast Asia giving me their battlefield dead. All free. All legal. <laughs> what you think of that? I think I'm gonna beer batter and deep fry your country ass. With what? While you was running around smashing generators, as I planned, we seized your salsa and y'all's big robot, too. Robot! Whatever. When my men break into them, the secrets of your alien technology will be mine. After we crack open your saucer, I'll smash your cloning gizmo and come back and kill you for the last time. Pathetic humans. <laughs> Crypto to Pox, 10-4, good buddy. Crypto, thank Awkward, it's you. Tron is... Way ahead of you, Chief. Just do your thing, okay? Get me back to the saucer before Cluck and scientists break into it, okay? The saucer's heavily guarded. You'll have to take Big Willy first. And Crypto, it's good to have you back. Don't worry, Pox. I still got your spare batteries. Now let's cack these Poindexters. Looks like we got them before they did too much damage. But they changed all of my radio presets. Well, that alone seals their doom. Enough horseplay! This colonel has been a thorn in my side long enough! You might want to put some back teen on that. Silence! With an endless, free, and perfectly legal supply of meat, Kraken will suck the life out of my big willy! We'll have to close, and the bodies will pile up in the streets again! We'll be exposed! You must destroy Kraken now! With pleasure. I'm gonna make him extra crispy. Victory is ours once more! Now the filthy humans will have to kneel and worship my mighty Big Willy! Ah, Pox, you were doing so well. So we're done. Tron and the Colonel bought it in the explosion, right? Oh, can't you even allow me one moment of triumph? No! No! They escaped! Both of them! Relax, Pox. It's just two lone men on the run. I'll take them down with my big willy. I mean, how hard could it be? Ah, oh, now I'm doing it. Splendid news! I've discovered the whereabouts of that crystalline traitor, Tron! Great. There's nothing like revenge to brighten my mood. Now, if I only knew what quizzling meant, I'd be at one with the universe. Just go kill Tron! Where, though, is most likely armed with some sort of special weaponry. Die, alien scum! Look out! He's throwing chickens! Chickens? How the hell are these guys winning this war? I guess that explains it. After him! X 
excellent job, Crypto. That should keep the other franchisees in line. And I finally located the Colonel. Meet me at the location I'm marking on your map. Okay, Pox. I'm ready for the big finale. It appears that Cluckin's men were able to cobble together some sort of mechanical suit. Don't tell me. A giant chicken. You think so, but no. It's a Vietnamese temple god, made of stone. Spending this much time in the jungle has obviously affected his aesthetic sensibility. Makes sense. I mean, it's not like Big Willy is a giant Huron teenager. Crypto, you're right! I'm gone, native! Enough give a jam! Who wants to tussle? All right. Rock'em sock'em robots it is. Booyah! You want biscuits with that, Jethro? Well, you green Yankee rascal, the South shall rise again! Extra crispy, what I tell ya. I wouldn't have believed it, beating the likes of that stone monstrosity with nothing but a fiberglass toddler. Kid. Oh, for Arkvoodle's sake, who cares? So now what? Back to Big Willie's in Fairfield? No, Crypto. I'm done with fast food. What? You mean after I risked and repeatedly lost, mind you, life and limb for that dumb restaurant? I'm afraid my heart's just not in it anymore. I mean, Cluckin was only my first challenger. Free Enterprise isn't as easy as a Furon invasion. So, no more filthy sound and double entendres about your big willy. No, my banker was in the region. Something about shrimp boats and a local mentally challenged war veteran. He dropped off the proceeds. Beauty, listen, from now on, leave the business to me. I've got a great idea for all this cash, and it involves a little town I know out Nevada way. I'm telling you, Poxy, the babes they've got out there are scrumptious, and everything, I mean everything, is totally legal. <laughs> <laughs>